Hey guys, Stealth Jacob here, and welcome to Civilization 6. Today I'm starting Season 3 of this game, and yeah, we're gonna try and go for a religious victory this game. Oh, that's cool, I didn't know I did that. The, the leaders appear on the sides and stuff now, that's cool. But yeah, the leader I'm going to play as is going to be Philip II. I really like his religious bonuses that he has with the Conquistador and stuff. So if we were to capture a city with a Conquistador, or with the a, a Conquistador with a um, with the an apostle with him, then the city is automatically converted. So that's a good way to convert to this stuff. Looks like there's more maps that they added to. So we're going to play on a fractal map, and we're going to do a tiny map of four players. And in the advanced setup, we're only going to do the religious victory. So it's going to be pretty interesting. So, yeah. I guess we'll just get started. Here we go. From the first stirrings of life beneath water to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. All Spain stands ready to answer your prayers, devout King Philip. From your palace at El Escorial, you can send forth your followers, missionaries, apostles, and conquistadors ready to strike out across the seas to spread the good word about your most holy empire. May the treasures they uncover fuel your quest to unite the world under one faith and one empire, making you truly the most Catholic king. All right, so that is Philip II of Spain and his um, special abilities and stuff. We get basically plus four combat strength against players who have a different religion than us. We also get bonuses from trade routes across continents, I think. And we get the Conquistador land unit and a mission building, which is a religious building. Here we go. All right, this is an interesting start, actually. We're on the river, which is always good, so we're just gonna found a city here. Okay, so starting out, one of the first things we want to go for is Stonehenge, for sure. So we're going to try and get Stonehenge right away. To do that, we need to find a National Wonder. So we need the Scout for one. So let's build a Scout, and let's put the city on production focus, I guess. How, um... Um, I don't know what kind of tiles do we have. We got, okay, we got some production stuff. That's cool. So yeah, we're going to try and rush for Stonehenge so we can get a, 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 a guy. Ooh, there's a thing up. There's a tribal hut up there. We're going to head towards that immediately. Oh, no. Get out of our lands. Yeah, we just need, oh wait, we can't actually get Stonehenge right away because... Stonehenge requires to be next to stone, and we don't have stone yet. That sucks. I want Stonehenge. It's so good. Alright, there's a barb camp right next to that. That's not convenient at all. That's just rude. We're gonna grab that up. We boosted sailing, which is pretty cool. Alright. And our scout is already done. The turns are going to go pretty fast in the beginning because there's not much to do. And let's just get down a builder, right? Maybe. What do we want? Because uh, I think we should go for a builder. We're going for a builder. And I'm also going to look out for stone right away. So if we can find stone, we can build it in another city. Stonehenge, possibly. There's also a lot of tobacco around us, which is pretty weird, not gonna lie. 
alright. Bit of sand up here. That's okay. There's a scout. Scout battle, here we go. You guys see the heal and you can attack the scout. Scout battles are usually pretty boring, so that's okay. We are going for that early religion game though, so we gotta get going on that. Hopefully we can find something cool that can help us out with that. We're just running around on these hills. Oh, this is a big area over here. A lot of, ooh, there's mountains, that's cool. Mountains are obviously good. They can give you a big bonuses. Okay, let's move here. The turns are going pretty fast, so yeah. We're getting one faith per turn. How? How are we getting one faith per turn? Have they updated the game a lot? Because I haven't been paying attention. Maybe they have, I have no idea. But yeah, we're getting faith apparently from nothing. Alright, you guys can attack them. You, you have a lot of health now. Yeah, we should be able to win next battle. Well, actually, they did pretty good. Darn it. Okay, that's fine. We got a builder. And what's the next thing we want? We have like five turns to do something. Let's build some farms, I guess. Farms are always good. And... I really want to build a settler soon. So... I, I'll have to waste a turn. Let's just start a monument, but we'll, we'll stop doing that next turn. We boosted irrigation pretty cool there's a new well there's a lot of new stuff that I don't know about yet there's mercury now which is a weird resource How, I haven't paid attention it's been a little bit oh we have met Arabia we'd love to sample your hospitality okay cool so that's Arabia up there if we need to we can take them out I guess because if we have um certain guys in the area we can actually get the oh no yes he can get Stonehenge no that's so annoying okay so we're actually we have to wait a little bit so we're just gonna actually no we'll switch to settler and we're gonna build a settler and then we're gonna start building the holy site to try and get a religion fast. Oh, thank you. He sent us a delegation. That's nice. It is not wisdom, but authority. We've got some policies. We're going to do God King for sure. And also that one. All right. Oh, you can be promoted. I'm giving you the battle cry because that's amazing. And what do we want for this? We want to end up in this area, so let's just go for foreign trade first. It doesn't really matter. All right, building some farms. Or also just go. Oh, there's a stone. That that would be nice to have. The thing is, we could like dominate most of the world, and then we could win our victory type. So that'd be nice. Uh, what does this need? Irrigation? Okay. I'm just gonna build more farms. We boosted craftsmanship with that too. That's good. Oh, that's a big mountain. Range. I don't believe in astrology. I'm a Sagittarius. Alright. We've discovered astrology, our first technology. Next, we're gonna go for pottery, I guess. Okay. Keep scouting. We have met the Holy Roman Empire of Barbosa or Frederick Barbosa. Okay. That's two really close cities. Very interesting. You sent a diplomat, Bladek, a diplomatic env envoy to me. That's nice. Thank you. 
The thing is, if we don't end up getting, like, very good at spreading our religion, we can just defeat these cities with our with our guys, and then if we have an apostle nearby, we can actually convert it instantly. So that might be an idea if we want to do that, just, like, attack their places. We're just going to scout what's in between us here. And more mercury, that's cool. I think we can do this. We're just gonna keep looking around here. Though. All right, let's head back. We need something to defend because there's a barb camp down there. And we gotta take care of that. We're three turns away from a second settler, which isn't bad. It's close, I guess. So we're gonna try and build a city in this area, so we're closer to him, and we'll get these mountains hopefully. Where would, maybe like here would be a good spot? That might work. Then we can build a holy site right next to it. Alright. We gotta take care of these barbarians. Because there's a scout here. Alright. More exploration. It's going well. Okay. Alright, they're attacking us, but we take them out. Okay, cool. Oh no. No man ever wetted clay. No no no, that's not bad. That's a bad thing. Okay, you need to go that way, you need to go this way. Our city's in danger. Okay, we can actually choose a pantheon already. Which is really nice. A lot of these pantheons are okay. But what I've learned is that the best pantheon is Divine Spark. Because you get great people points from holy sites. You get great, you can get great, um, yeah, you can just get a bunch of great people points. And it's perfect for getting that early one. So now we're going to be getting one point per turn towards Great Profits. If we look at the Great Profit list, we no one has any points, but we're going to start generating some. And we need to build some defense. No. These barbarians are going to pillage us. That's bad. Oh, come on, man. You guys suck. I'm just trying to go to religious victory, man. But yeah, we're going to try and settle on that area right there. That sucks, man. Why did they have The Pantanal is the most complex intertropical alluvial plain of the oh. planet. We found a national wonder, which would be great for boosting that tech that we have, that we wanted. But we didn't find it that fast, so that's the problem. It sucks, though. Barbarians, why? Oh my gosh, there's a lot. Alright, we need to take you guys out. Also, there's a slinger in this area. I hope he doesn't kill my guy. Alright, we're heading back this way. This guy has some units ready. That's cool. Okay, good. They're not going for that. But they're also attacking my other stuff. <laughs> Go, settler. What do I do? <laughs> Because they keep healing off of my pillage tiles. This is garbage. <laughs> no. <laughs> I commend you. What? Whatever, man. This sucks, man. The barbarians are evil. We're going to destroy you guys so badly. You're going to get wrecked. Alright, we're almost to where we want to be, which is on this tile. Alright. Yeah, these barbarians are evil, though. We're about to get our second guy, though, to deal with them. Okay. Let's get that scout. And we're now going to build a slinger. Because we need to st definitely defend this stuff. These guys are just evil. Scout battle. 
Our scout is hurt a lot, so this might be bad. We do have a promotion available, though. But look at all these. There's four units of barbarians here. Alright. We made it to our location. We just need to settle the city. And you will get promoted with the woods and forest part. I like better. There's a lot of woods in this area, so. Cool. When you find yourself in a hole. We did not dig ourselves in this hole. I'm sorry. We did not. Alright, we're going to found our second city, and that guy's going to be mad at us, but that's okay. We're going to instantly build, let's, what do we want? I guess a monument, because then we can expand our borders faster. And after that slinger, we're going to produce, the thing is, we can't get many great power points anymore because of this stupid thing. Oh, we actually need a one. Oh, we need that thing done. Oh crap, we're in trouble here. This is a bit tricky to get. It's gonna be a bit tricky to get our what we want. What we could do is buy us a builder to fix everything, and then we can build. So we can start building our holy site. How much does a builder cost? It would cost a large amount of our gold, but it's definitely worth it. We want to get that whole, that religion as fast as possible. Yeah, you're dead. Okay, nice try. Oh my gosh. Alright, Slinger. Okay, what we want to do is produce a holy site somewhere. Let's put it up here. And what we're going to do now is purchase a builder to fix everything that was broken. And yeah, we're gonna attack these barbarians back where they belong and so they die because they're evil. Alright. A bit of a rocky start, but we're getting it done. Oh my gosh, really? Alright, let's repair these farms with this guy. Um, let's kill that guy. That's actually smart. And you can repair that. And you will sit here and defend it. For now. That's... But yeah, now there's another guy there that sucks. Not sure where he is coming from. I think we'll just heal our guys up a little bit. Um, yeah, you go there and repair that now. What's the scout doing though? I'm really curious. Where did he come from? That's what I'm really concerned about. He had to have come from somewhere. Oh my. Alright. Okay, we'll fortify you. Yep. And you repair this tile. Nice. Okay. We're doing good. It's not been great, but it's not awful. Okay, we killed that guy. That's good. We do only have two slingers left, though. There are two people there. But that's not a problem. The man who has grit enough to bring about the forest. Okay, we learned something. We can actually promote you. That's a good promotion. We can't attack. Let's. We'll send you back into the city to defend. Are we gaining your profit points yet, by the way? Oh, we are. No, we're not. Arabia is. Why is ours not working yet? We have Divine Spark. That gives great profit points. What the heck? I don't know. That's fine, though. We're doing okay. We're defending. 
It was a bit crazy to start out. Oh, That's no. the positive aspect of trade, I suppose. The world gets stirred up. Alright. You attack that guy. You can attack this guy. And you go into the city. Okay, we're defending this. It's okay. Okay, and we can promote you. Nice. There we go. We should be able to take him out next turn. You just sit there. For now. Alright. We're taking them out. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, there's more. Alright, we need to sort of heal up everybody. You stand there and heal. You heal up here. And you heal... Oh wait, oh wait, that's the builder. I'll throw you on the tobacco. Get that. Alright. We have a lot of defenses now, which is good. We're about to get our holy site. So we should be able to get some great profit points. Um... My Pantheon, yeah. Oh, oh, I see. We don't have the holy site yet. That's why. Okay, I was derping out there. I was confused why it didn't work. But yeah, we don't have a holy site yet, so that's why it's not working. Well, we're gonna move you on that hill definitely. And you can move a bit closer. Yeah, we'll hit you. Oh, there we go. A lot of damage. Grab the plantation. There we go. Nice. So we should be getting, like, two great profit points per turn now. After this. Which is pretty good. It's not bad. Arabia is also getting great profit points. But we should beat them there. I am fond of pigs. Okay. So now we can research a lot of different things. I'm going to go for writing. And production wise, I think a shrine is really good just so we can get the extra boost for it for the great profit points. And if we look now, how many points do we get per turn? Zero. That's because it was this turn. Next turn we should get some points though. Alright, let's take out the Slinger. As well. Because he's just annoying. Alright, you're gone, Slinger. Okay, cool. We took out the Slinger. And this guy, uh, yeah, he can repair that, but there's a scout there. We'll, we need to take care of that scout, because I think he needs to head back to his base. And then he's going to do damage. Are you going to pillage my stuff, scout? <laughs> if you do, I won't like that. Alright, let's just keep um, attacking these guys. Let's attack this guy. You can heal. And we put and we move that guy back because of that guy over there. It's a bit hectic. Alright, he's attacking my slinger. That's not a problem. Get him, slinger. Yeah. You defended yourself. Okay, so the scout is leaving. We're gonna move this guy back now. This is a bit heck. It's crazy, guys. Is this pillaged or not? Uh, no. Okay, it's not. If we look at great profit points, we are getting two per turn, but he had a small head start. But we should catch him in the later, later once we get a couple more. All right. Everything's going smoothly. We're going to take out this camp. That's going to be really helpful. 
Never mind. Can't take it out yet. You have to wait. This is their slingers now. Skill without imagination is craftsmanship and gives us many useful objects, such as wickerwork picnic. Okay, so we have the faith that we needed, so we're gonna stop doing that. What we're gonna do now is the production towards builders. That seems like a nice deal. Okay, you go there, you attack him. You need to run away. Okay. We can choose the civic to go for. Um, we're going to go for this mysticism thing. Because we could get the oracle, which would be really nice. As a wonder. Religious wonders are always nice to get. And yeah, everybody is sort of in trouble right now in our land. But we're not doing too awful. Okay. Please don't die. Nice. Please don't die. Please don't die. Dang it. Writing means sharing. We died. We lost our guy. Okay. This is the bad start, but it's not a problem. Going for a sailing. What do we want to do now? Do we want to hit this guy? Because that would we'll back up and heal, I guess. Because that leaves us in a lot of danger. And we're just going to keep you here. Okay. It's been a crazy start. I'll say that. Oh, we're going to get you, though. You were exposed. There we go. The slinger can shoot from here. That's nice. Okay, we all. He's probably gonna pillage our stuff now, actually, which sucks. We'll just leave you here. Please don't pillage. Please. Oh, thank you, he left. That's nice of him. Not sure why he did that, but that's okay. This would be a major victory. So we're gonna go for it. What do you need to build a holy site? Hmm? What do you need? What? Does it just have to be flat? I don't know. We're gonna build a builder here to cut down some forest. This guy can just sleep for a while. The slinger is too weak on health. He needs to heal. Alright, we're going to do one more turn, and that's going to do it for this episode. Alright. Okay, this is bad. We'll heal you. We will fire at you. And we're going to... We're going to finish our monument, I guess. That's a good building. We bid boost archery, though. And that's the end of the turn. But anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Civilization 6, and I'll see you all next time. See ya!